going on YouTube? This is JL Musi, and today we're going to be taking a look at how we could effectively use booleans uh, in order to create a complex shape. Now, complex is a relative term, so if you've been modeling for a while, this might not seem too difficult. But if you're beginning, uh, creating an attachment like this uh, can pose somewhat of a challenge. Now, booleans have gotten a bad rap in the past. Um, in the days of old, they were uh, hard to deal with and sometimes gave you unpredictable results. Now, Autodesk and Maya have made great strides in this department, and now Booleans are actually a valuable tool in your modeling workflow. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start out with uh, one cylinder here and stretch it out. And then uh, I'll add a second one, rotate it 90 degrees, I'll move it up, scale it down some, and then make sure they go ahead and intersect. Uh, for the second cylinder, I'll go ahead and give it a slight rotation. Turn on my wireframe on shaded. I went ahead and added three edge loops here to section off some of the edge flow work that we're about to do. With both of my meshes selected, I'm gonna go down to Mesh and then Booleans, and I'll select Union. And now we have basically uh, combined our meshes. So from here, it's very important that we go ahead and delete our history. And we'll go ahead and begin some of the cleanup work. So holding down the tab key, I'm going to go ahead and paint some uh, face selections here. And what I'm looking to do is to extrude to create an inset. And that small inset is actually going to create some of this uh, edge flow that we need in order to make this transition a smooth one. I'm going to select all the faces inside the inset and delete them. And then I'm going to double click here, this uh, polygon island, and convert my selection to verts, and then hit delete on the keyboard. And what that's going to do is basically delete any of my hanging verts. Now here, I'll take vert and then vert snap to the outer edge of that cylindrical cap. I'm going to select all my verts here and do a merge verts with a low tolerance. And uh, you might not see me dig through menus here just because I have that hotkey. So looking around my mesh here, uh, I discovered that by accident, uh, I deleted uh, this back face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both the outer edges and I'm going to do a bridge. And I prefer to do this uh, via uh, or versus the append polygon tool. It just works a little bit better for me. Uh, and then from there, I'm going to do a mesh display and then soften the normals on that face. What I'm looking to do next is uh, move this edge loop up towards the intersection. So I'll hit D on my keyboard and that will enter me into edit pivot mode. From there, I can hold down control and orient the pivot uh, up along one of these edges that slanted towards the way that I want to move. I'll go ahead and go back to my move tool and I'm able to move that edge accordingly. So I'm going to adjust the uh, top edge as well and move it down. And I'm going to start adding some reinforcing geometry to hold this shape since uh, I will be uh, modeling this for sub -Ds. Most of the edge loops that I place are just holding down Alt and using the uh, built-in feature that the multi-cut tool has. But uh, from time to time, if I need a perfectly uh, straight uh, edge loop from a specific edge, sometimes what I'll have to do is uh, switch over to the um, old school insert edge loop tool. 
So I want to cut uh, my shape off here at these edges. So what I'll do is I'll double click uh, these edges here and go down to detach. What that's going to do is uh, separate those edges and now I can double click and select those polygon islands and delete them. Uh, I'll align these edges once more and uh, continue to refine my shape here. And what I'll do here is double click both of these edge loops and extrude and I'll extrude inward to give this some thickness. And then uh, I'll go ahead and do a bridge to connect um, those interfaces. And then uh, sometimes uh, instead of adding edge loops, what I like to do is do a bevel with three divisions. So I'll select all these edge loops again, and I want to reinforce this edge. So I'll go ahead and do a bevel with three divisions, and you see that it holds up the shape pretty nicely. So that wraps up uh, our workflow in using uh, booleans to create a complex intersected geometry and then going and doing a little bit of cleanup to get this mesh to actually be polished and have good edge flow. Smash that like button if this video was valuable to you. Uh, definitely drop me a comment. Uh, I'd like to hear you guys' feedback, inputs, and alternative uh, workflows that you might have in situations like this. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.